What's up guys, this is Tux Ancestral and you're tuning to Analog Culture. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to another installment of Analog Culture. We're back on the show, the Tux Ancestral again. Um, today we're talking about his new album. Um, he'll give you majority of the details as to where the album is. Uh, without further ado, Mr. Tux. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, man. It's good yeah, to man. be back. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and we're back with the with the higher note again yeah, this time. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tell us why we're here today. Actually, why why we're here today, man? Um, I just recently dropped an album. Yeah. Uh, title Unspoken. Okay. So basically, that's why we're here today, just to talk about the album. You know why also called unspoken and all that man yeah 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 dive into that actually <coughs> why, why why unspoken the last one was Bunono. Oh, no no yes yeah and then this one unspoken um well i think with the unspoken i was just in a corner man, the space you know yeah so with this album if you listen to it it's a 10 track album yeah and mostly all of the songs there's you know um it has more vocals yeah the most and uh and i was just trying to express myself yeah you know, because i was going through a rough patch yeah so i just took all, everything out to get, go to the sound and stuff like that so that's when go unspoken because there were a lot of things that i wanted to speak about but i couldn't so yeah. i just let the music to do all of that for me hence now unspoken yeah yeah uh, uh, if you mind sharing what were what was what was putting you in that space hey yeah, man um you know family and stuff you know because i i remember that we had to do unveiling of the OLED, you know yeah and uh, you found that there were other things that were happening in my life yeah, and yeah. Uh, when the time came uh, for the unveiling and stuff you know research i was doing because i need to know about uh, am i doing the right thing here yeah yeah but okay, cool. we found out we did the wrong way and you know also it everything just Hold me in one place, yeah, Opeana. And Fakajakuna, we were Konini, so there was a lot of emotions that yeah. I could not express at that time. So my gateway was like, you know what? Let me just put this, everything that I'm feeling. In an in, album? Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Rain, so. How long is the album? How, what do you mean? Yeah, how many tracks are Oh, on? how many tracks? 10 tracks. 10 tracks. 10 tracks. And 10 tracks. On all 10 tracks, did you collab with uh, other artists? Uh, well, with this one, because uh, the first album, oh, no, no, it was 21 tracks, and uh, I had like most features there. So with this one, I had to be specific with what I wanted. So uh, I featured only four people. Yeah. Uh, GMT. Uh, featured um, Rebecca on Sweet Nothings. Yeah. Uh, I also featured Utazo. Yeah. Yeah. For um, in the end, no, it's actually three people that are featured on this one. Yeah. So with UGMT, what I did uh, for Yana to be part of the album, uh, I had uh, like a small competition Anyana on my page that you know for producers that you know what. Drop your link. I'm busy with an album. Drop your link with your music, and yeah. then if I feel it, and then I'll definitely hit you up and stuff. So GMT came across. Uh, he was one of the winners because of his sound. Yeah, okay, no but jazzy at the end and all that. Yeah. So he's the one because everything his sound was just different, man. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I only just featured three people on the album, and then the rest it was just me, you know, exploring. Yeah. my yeah. feelings or mood swings <laughs> well what's what's the feeling in the album is it jazzy is it soulful deep is it tech it's i'll say tech okay i'll say tech fu- it's a fusion of deep house with the tech because uh i mean i love automations yeah you know so it's mostly tech but you you but your keys you'll you'll hear that now you get that soulful vibe that deep house vibe but still 
on the tech side at the same time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, did you enjoy making the album to be honest it was as much like i said it was i was in a dark space yeah yeah uh, but i really did enjoy it yeah i really did enjoy it man and uh i remember there was one song because i had nine songs yeah i didn't know how many songs uh i was gonna drop yeah uh, so i was looking at 13 at first but i was like no man i, I don't want to push it let me just keep it on 10. but i was like okay i have nine tracks now yeah. so i need one song so likely i was at home and uh every time that i go back home a pe i just it's, i just actually get this other feeling man and also the type of sound also that i'll able to create come across while i'm back home you yeah, know yeah. because uh that's when i did now this oh, unspoken the last track yeah but the first track that i did on the album is what you're doing which i did last year june yeah so it has that bouncy sound yeah. you know that one so it was a sound that i was experimenting with at the same time so every time that I go back home, I'll have that flame and different sound and all that, that motivation as well. Yeah. So yeah. the last track, it was Unspoken that I did and I was really enjoying the track, which I still enjoy it right now. Yeah, can you, obviously, <laughs> you can't make yeah, music man. and not enjoy the music yourself. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, ten tracks on an album. Yeah. Two albums within a space of two years. Yes. What's your thought on that? Like I, I the, the the other time we spoke, we mm. were speaking about how you let the music breathe. Yes. So you let it run for a specific time, and then you come back to it. And when you come back to it, then you release uh, an album, and you deal with I'm an EP pre that. Yes. So you went from one album, you did a bunch of uh, features yep. and I'm a remixes, and then boom, another album. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like your thought process on that was, let me just go for it. Actually. No, with the album thing, right? So I'll start with the first album first. Yeah. Uh, about why the thought of that came out. Cool, yeah. So with the album, I just wanted to push myself with the one on first. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I uh, album, I find an EP. So album, you don't limit yourself. You you'll decide. Okay, fine. You know, this is how the album wanted to go, and this how many tracks also. Here, yeah, you still want to keep it minimal. I'm going to keep EPs on the line. Okay, I'm still here, but I'm still busy with other things at the same time. But now, with an album, it's that thing, man. Okoti is pushing myself, actually. Yeah. Now, it's pushing myself to see the amount of work that I can actually take if I can push myself to. Because Kabando, they're afraid of releasing my album. There are people that find album uh, pointless, but dude, whereas you can just drop an EP, you know, so that because I have a lot of music and uh, I don't like going back to the project that I did. This is I so I always create something, you know, and every album is a specific sound, yeah, as well. So I also now coming back and why the album, so every year. Feb is my it's my birthday month. Yeah. So in the Lalanda Bake an album is a present to myself. Yeah, yeah. So that's why now every year I'll push an album and then push maybe one E P, you know, and yeah, then yeah. features and whatever remixes or you know, packages that I'm featured on, that's it. But the album is basically a present to myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to release and yes, uh, man. get that info out. Just just to deviate a bit. What what is your thought on a, 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 a mental uh, healthness in artists? It's too much, guys. Yeah, because you'll find that music can be very depressing, you know, and uh, it's too sad. You know, because we have a lot of artists out there, you know, that are big big names. Yeah. But umdu, you'll see them on the poster, features, all that busy. But the next thing you'll find someone posting that wow, this person is depressed and all that. Yeah. And also Lando, this is also the type of circle that you surround yourself with also and the environment of Pilagoyo. Because you'll find that wow, not all of us have a nine to five. So others, music is the only thing 
yeah, oh, aba, that can bring oh, a song in lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you find that now you you're getting exploited up at the same time. Yeah. You know, you're not getting the value of Msebenzwa that you're supposed to be getting. So the moment that you find out those things, that's when it hits you at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flip. Man, people are talking about me here, but I'm chilling home, I'm broke. Yeah. You know, there's no electricity at home. You have you have you have a kid, you know, school fees and stuff. So there's a lot of things. And then you find that but these people that are supposed to be protecting us, yeah, well, they are the ones actually that are doing this to us at the same time. So like a mental issue is very serious for artists because like we say, but it's we take Mkul away to very personal yeah. because now we we expressing you know whatever that's inside because when you create a song it, 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 everything needs to come here yeah. you know, and how you're going to construct okay this needs to go here and there there's a reason for all of that now nothing's going to show for but you getting booked yeah no payments now you need to go play there's no transportation and stuff like that so you only land yeah, well, he end up I played a role, a big role, yeah, well, to artists when it comes to mental health, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there some form of e e e like a support group concept for artists where you get to speak? I mean, as you're speaking now, it's very difficult to say I'm gonna go and pay a therapist yeah. hmm. as an artist. So, is there a way whereby when you get to release and speak to someone and have that? that those inner feelings and emotions like where you can actually just scream and then just release and come back um well i have my own methods and uh, yeah know, i listen to rock music <laughs> <laughs> i listen to rock music but yeah. uh you know t- i mean talking to you i mean there's a reason why we're friends yeah. you know the yeah. reason why there's family yeah you know, i know not everyone but you know the people that are there for you you know yeah i mean the moment that because i think another thing is that you know we are afraid to speak out because you know your problems blah 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 land but like okay now who's one man and then you, your name is so big but yet problems are acquisition doesn't make sense you know if yeah, yeah. you go to i mean we all have a life right you find an artist you're drinking, having fun, and yeah. then someone will take a picture and then start trending. Wow, yeah, wow, blah blah. You're that also plays a role. Couldn't say mental because now you can't be yourself. Okay, yeah, that's really yeah. you're learning. But I mean, talking to people, man, that really cares about you. That's I mean, that's the only solution. Yeah, you know, someone. It's also speaking with a stranger. You know, telling a stranger your problems. It's a. I mean, strangers they will surprise you, man. Yeah, well, yeah, they'll yeah. give you a you know, opinion about a bad dude. Even a friend, a close up, could not give you that answer. You yeah, know? but yeah. just speak out. That's all. Yeah. Now, yeah, as a label uh, 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 owner in this instance, and having as a label owner and an artist yep. going through such emotions and and thoughts, you also have an artist under you, mm. right? What do you do in 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 their aspect in terms of maybe they might go through some of these stages in some space yep. while they're making music and releasing music what channels do you have for them for that kind of release because obviously in your case now you will find a rock mm-hmm. right but in the other end you're also the the the, the guy Gunguti, they will look up to yep and say Udux is actually running my whole project so i'm not feeling okay because of this is what's happening with the bookings this is what's happening with the sales and this is what's happening jay within my life Okay. What what kind of platform do you give them for as an outlet in a sense? You know, I mean the I mean there's even a toll free numbers for for mental issues, right? Yeah. So I also I mean, I, I'm not a therapist. You know, I I can't say tell me your problems, I'll fix them, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Okay, we, if there's a friend of mine that's going through the most or there's a producer I tell you about, you know, I'll I'll say my part, you know. I'll try to be as honest as I can be, you know. Yeah. And also as blunt as well, because I need, I need to be honest. Yeah. You know, I can also bah wake now. How are you gonna do things from here? So I mean, 
I mean, if there's someone who that's going through the most, I mean, I always try to be there for them. And also, if Nebona Ba is beyond me, in any case, I mean, that this needs serious help, and definitely there's a number. Yeah, you know, yeah. If it's a number, it's a I got it all covered, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if it's even in Pilo, I've got someone, you know, if spiritual, you know, every, you know everything is just here, man. It's just all about my, when, uh, how far you're willing to go to help that person. Yeah, yeah so man. it's a matter of talking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Dukes, sorry, man. Uh, you were still here telling me what the artist, the, another artist that is part of the album is U. Bones. U Bones, yeah. Yes, on the track that's titled Holding On. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how is it working with, with other artists? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, uh, some of them are producers, right? And some of them are vocalists. Yep. Yeah. How does it feel working with people? Like, how do you, well, how do you choose who you get to work with? Yo, oh, I'm very picky. <laughs> I'm very picky when when I choose who to work with, you know. Yeah. But uh, what I look at, I mean, the sound first. I need to know. You know I mean, the sound is to balance. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I I enjoy working with people first of all, you know, because I kind of feel like, you know, the more we sana, the more we grow. Now yeah. you're reaching my market. I'm reaching your market. You're all alone, you know. Yeah. So kukule sana and uh, also picking. I also check the sound. You know what type of sound and also uh, if even the type of vocals that I want. You know on mm. the certain song. So I'll know. But <clears throat> okay, I'm looking for someone and then I'll go to my friends. But hey guys, I'm looking for someone. Or call it this way. Yeah. And then they will come up with it. But okay, if there's someone that I know for a certain song and then I'll just completely just shoot to them yeah amongst the the people that you've counted i know u, 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 t t t k the first guy you mentioned that one jmt GM, music jmt yeah. sorry yeah. jmt was a producer right so you worked in him on instruments he's not a vocalist he's not a vocalist amongst the other three who's a vocalist no uh or rebecca or rebecca yep where's she from uh rebecca's from Joburg. from Joburg. yeah so rebecca yo, that's that's my artist yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah we work a lot together you know um actually i'm the one actually who forced her to sing yeah you know, yeah because uh, the first song that we did together was sunrise uh, yeah. with push guy and then after sunrise we did um how can i forget the song yeah, it happens <laughs> yeah, yeah. it happens Aibu. i'm sure you got more than oh, a thousand songs. i forgot this one man yeah yeah and then uh the third one now the third song is this one sweet nothings yeah yeah sweet nothings you know you know you know okay, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what i was going through her head i just saw the beat and then she started going. I was like, dude, hey, boy, what are you talking about? Yeah, so it's what you she know? was feeling. But she has a story, though, to tell. She has a story, man. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, oh, that's nice, man. That's nice. Um, which other vocals are you looking at working with in future? Uh, yes, yeah, there's, there's this girl. We used to be friends. Yeah. I was in varsity. She was still in high school that time. Uh, Otoko. Mm. Uh, talk oh, all oh, I voice like it's so powerful man um there's a track that she did with uh, she works a lot with uh, euphonic yeah uh, she works a lot with euphonic uh so that's one artist that I'm looking at at the moment yeah but I'm also trying to find the right sound for him so and uh I don't know man I normally just ask around. And also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's something that also we're gonna be working on. Yeah. But he, if if I can, he wants us to work kind of Cape Town. Yeah. So like, no, it's fine. Whenever that is here, we can always link. And then, yeah. And also, Manando has this other friend. Yeah. Now, I think oh, I forgot her name, but. Uh, uh, but I was yeah, but yeah. she has a beautiful voice. So that's another person that I'm actually looking at working with. You know, I like I actually some others why anyway. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you find that even if features are amazing, yeah, I like someone who some as why so that we can also just try to boost you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah. there was no one why I wasn't post them at that time, you know. So yeah, I figure yeah. um the funangel away but dude 
that's for a queue Orlando. But of course, we always ask for a catalog to check also. We don't just say, yeah, you know, yeah, you, yeah. we need to check, but it's the work there as well. You know. As in what you've done as mm. an artist and what's out there yeah. on your end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are you looking at? How far are you looking at pushing this particular album? In a sense, you would any. Which gigs are you hoping to play at just to promote this music this year? Hey, I'm booking my bookings in Aba. Hey, yeah, that's another story. Yeah, you know? but um, there are, there are platforms since Bosho goes so far. Um, I normally use a lot, especially uh, Home of DJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what one another platform, of course, another culture as well. Yeah. And uh, wherever that I'll be, I, I get bookings, you know. Yeah, you know, Tommy and I is also busy running his own thing, so Tommy will like book me, but like Dukes can push the album and also, you know. yeah, yeah. So, but in most cases, I just use uh, my social networks, man. Yeah, you know, that's where I'm pushing the most. Yeah, you know. do you think there's gatekeeping in Cape Town for our new artists? There's gatekeeping everywhere, man. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere, as a con. Yeah, well, yeah. As a corner, but I, I think, hey man, I don't know. You know, I just do my own thing. Yeah, you know, I just do my own thing, and when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So I'm not gonna just going around kissing ass. Yeah, you know, but I just because for now to play at a certain venue or to get bookings and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Do my own things. I you will know, plan at my own time, my own pace. And then whoever that's all serious by is gonna want to book already knows okay cool there's a contract and that's it yeah you know because yeah. i think also like we okay every weekend you know it's another thing man it's a good thing yeah but it's a bad thing on different on the same spots yeah you understand me yeah and uh you find that you end up playing the same sound you know because now we know that whenever maybe this other cast drop, you know, we all want to play that sound. Yeah. And then you actually forget by hey man, took it out here. Why don't I just push it the way I can also? So it's, it's like, there's your politics about gatekeeping from your friends as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because their friends is a funk born about, you know, Pumelela. Yeah. You know. So I'd rather I just do my own thing and then wherever that I get a gig and but there's a gig that I, um, because I was launching on the 25th of Feb, and yeah. spoken at uh, Woodstock Breweries. Yeah. So Bones came out with with that whole idea, you know, just to push it. Yeah. You know, and then uh, there's one gig also. It's in April. It's in Hot Bay. Yeah. But uh, we're still just finalizing the details, and then but but things are just picking up slowly by slowly, man. Yeah. But yeah. I'm quite happy with everything so far yeah with with the airplay of south african music on radio have you guys considered pushing it on on the airwaves uh yes are you experiencing gatekeeping and no no yes actually i'm quite surprised you know i like searching myself né? yeah yeah I'll, I'll just because other people they don't know my handles and my bandu they spell Utux ancestral with an S. Yeah. But the moment that I start searching myself, <coughs> at least that references of a corn, you know? Yeah. And uh, I found that Ukuti Ukuse FM they play a lot of my songs. Ukuzi. Ukuzi FM. Uh, mm. Durban. Yeah, they, they they play a lot, you know, because they have this thing that they get people to vote. Yeah. So yeah. I saw that there's one song that is making waves that side which is Upelo Talk yeah, that's yeah. on the Abunono uh, album yeah so and then there are those platforms as well also like Uti J Fresh also Unezaike and you know, he'll play some of the tracks whatever that's dropped on that weekend you know if it sounds good play it so there are those platforms and there's a podcast yeah it's about yeah. corner up but radio waves ucho, i don't i haven't experienced anything it been any gatekeeping to be honest yeah yeah you know but i you don't do, you guys do send your stuff through yeah we we, we do yeah well, we do because um uh, i've sent one at cooks but i haven't received anything yet you know the cooks being cooks fm uh cooks fm yeah. oh yeah yeah but i haven't sent anything yet but push radio also our uh, push so we we put our know, to out there at least 
Yeah. So as they are sitting on someone's yeah, desk, we can uh, actually put it on the mm. air. Yeah. How's your relationship with? I mean, what's the biggest um, station here in Cape Town? Wouldn't it be Good Hope FM? Good Hope FM. Uh, yeah, it's Good Hope FM. Right now, do the people at Good Hope FM push local music? Because I know for a fact I've heard a lot of local guys throw out stuff a uh, push. Mm. But it's been seldom that I've heard stuff on E Good Hope. But then again, I'm not target market you could hope. Yep. Um, so I'm wondering, do they actually ever push out music there? To be honest, I really do not know. No. You know, so I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, to go, I had to listen to radio. Are now. you target market now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not a target market as well. Yeah, well but, but you're an artist. I think your music mm, should be on there, man. Yeah, man. I, because I, I'd actually love to hear from people about Fanana Dosini and who. Pierre Johnson, mm. whether their stuff gets pushed on local radio stations, you know, because I know for a fact um, the piano cats are chosen. Yeah. When they release stuff, they walk into a YFM yep. <clears throat> and they speak to the DJs, the anchors particularly, to say, I'd like to promote Inter so, so, so. And they set up schedules and they come in, they play their music, they put their music through my top 30s. Mm. And it's actually just local stuff that they rotate first before yeah. they move over to the international stuff so um, I'm, I'm i'm wondering what to do is there such a platform for you guys here at cape town that does that uh i mean i mean uh, right now i mean the corner your radio stations you know that and they're also looking for demos for people to submit yeah uh it's just that lapa i'm doing about am i gonna submit or because they want there needs to be um a radio friendly and all if there's vocals and all that i think my band they were quite lazy to do radio to, edit. to do radio edit and also to do your research as well because i mean there's even online radios i think online radios are here's another platform that are actually pushing local music yeah yeah and then okay we can we know that okay fine urban beats yeah well, urban beat they push yeah, well, local content yeah um i mean 99 also yeah, yeah, yeah. right now is also pushing local it's just a matter of uh tina i'll be sending you know and if you are sending i'll be sending the right quality and what's needed because you find that if you can't be sending an mp3 to maybe to vinita vinci yeah. or to a radio station yeah. you need to send a wave file and then everyone wonder they don't want to do that you know? yeah so you find it that now your work is an ignoration because nazi criteria that are needed for when uh but we don't do research we don't read man yeah yeah that's yeah. a sad part uh, yeah i think one of the issues with that is a lot of people what color the music thing as bedroom producers mm. right so agnaski like cameron what you're learning is off of the university of youtube and you're more focused on what your sound yes. is 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 pushing towards and then when it gets to issues such as how do you get rid of airplay mm. how do you get the worst one of it is when you're signing a a, a deal a yes. contract an agreement with a company a record label what are you to look out for yep so that education is very it's men yeah. because you find that i mean there's among workshops for people that don't attend artists that don't attend among workshops yeah and also the another reason you find a good about it's hard now maybe for certain radio stations to play so they will play your songs ne? yeah but now your song it, it may feature issue maybe t- to that whatever advert yeah well, Payana. yeah now you find that you go you're not registered yeah and stuff yeah. and that's another thing because go uh, people are just doing music yeah well, yeah but they're not going into the business and understanding okay fine you go to this money yeah but you go to these royalties yeah. how do i get those royalties yeah opana in order for me to 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 be able to work with another person you know um what do i need to do yeah so i need to network yeah, yeah so i think yeah. most artists uh, they do not attend i'm a workshops. I'm a workshops and i'm a workshops they helped a lot yeah, yeah. yeah with with the artists that you worked with hmm. uh obviously you had to go through split sheets and the agreements who's mechanical rights here who gets the royalties for writing all of that notion mm. did you find that your artists that you worked with were fully aware of all of these and they jumped into this bar but clear as to how this release is going to work out mm. you know at first 
it has a first uh, I think remember the there was a workshop that we bumped in each other too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Lego music. Yeah. yeah. So you found that you could maybe a year or two years back, uh we'll, we'll contract here to be like word of mouth. Yeah. But boilers and and all that. You yeah, know? yeah. And then you find out uh you does it to be no royalties yeah we pay now we don't even even include your but we better love you but dude yeah we'll also for my now is like it's over the catalog yeah yeah so whenever there's a radio play or whatever download of course it's gonna split you know what i mean so it was like that at first and then i was like no man you know i sat down to me as east and then he was like no man talks um are you do you register your songs first yeah it was about what do you mean to register my songs i don't know just before you're getting into you because there's a code as well yeah well yeah, i love yeah. you registered queries uh, so that you can have that code the alcohol you know for your tracks you're like no yeah, yeah so that's when you will end up doing my own research and also the artists that in sevens are now so if they're not aware of a certain thing yeah but i always try to tell them go to about do it you need to do this this and this yeah you know, yeah yeah so that you can able also to get a more royalties uh, yes the label might give you a royalties alcohol okay let's say 50 50 because there's an agreement it's also a answer good back 50 50 that's it yeah yeah you know, because since it's by two there's no third party you know? yeah so kind of looking it's okay but you find a good bar is a cookie royalties that will take long because you're not registered yeah, yeah. Uh, so i try to educate where i can and also try to do my own research and to find out bar am i doing things in the right way you know because so, so for now, it's easy to say i want to work with peace by hand or to my deep or chronicle but they have a formula yeah how you how we work yeah we'll pay and go go if you're just gonna get there and there's no formula i'm not gonna take you seriously of course, of so course. it's one of those things man yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah education is very important man. very very important mm. let's get back to the album because i am straying a lot but yeah. i think it has a lot to do with understanding e- e- workflow yeah. and how you're dealing with with the challenges that a lot of people are experiencing um 10 tracks why 10 tracks as opposed to your normal album numbers which is generally about what 12 bonus track at 13 why why 10 this time because it's there <laughs> the reason why if being a cooper if being cooper 12 yeah how's that else maybe 18 so <laughs> so i just wanted to keep uh, oh man, let, let me just j10 yeah and then you can go after that you know, and then i'll start working on something again you know, yeah yeah for, because yeah. there's a there's a project that i want to be dropping around about september so it's called uh, music and friends yeah yeah, yeah. so that's an lp you know. okay so that's this year i'm only gonna only just two two releases actually yeah. no just three okay throw so two and then i'm done you know, for the year this is duke's uh, music only. music only yeah yeah, yeah. and then can go it features so far the only feature that i have yaga massa and uh, french boss yeah Manando. uh yeah so far yeah you know, are you looking at straying away from your normal tech sound into let's say maybe more soulful sound or more piano type of sound why i'm asking this is kwaniskicha kemaj have you heard of his kitch there's 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 this pakadi piano fusion coming out of pretoria okay called his kitch there is a afro that is doing heck of a lot in mm. uh, stuff that's coming out from abo cairo coming out from the gunye stands basically yep. they're coming with a lot of local stuff that is that is afro based yep you know deep house on its own as as an, an entire genre that infuses everything mm. are you looking at straying into the other genres in terms of you as an artist like checking out your own talents and testing them out in the market i'm gonna say no and also i'm gonna say yes yeah but i don't think at 
at this moment, you know, yeah. I'm actually looking at that. You know, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. I will think I can say in the future, uh, but I want to be honest. To produce uh, that kind of sound. Yeah, I'm just still focusing Lena because there's a certain sound that I'm actually looking for. Yeah, you know, so I think the moment that that happens, it's when you go that I'll actually band the four million and the four now. Now I can cross and then try to fuse you know, yeah, with the other genres. Sound. Yeah. Um, earlier on, I asked the question. You're a good team. A whole lot of people have been dissing about DJ Ababai about their vinyl collections, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always been said, go to the vinyl collections, yeah. people play old stuff. Yeah. Then it was proven with that's nonsense. Okay. People are mm. actually playing music or current. Yes. They buy music. Nini Malux is pressing, Cooler Face pressing. There's a lot of, of art, sculptured music is pressing. Mm. Like there's a lot of people at Josie that are pressing and putting their music on a vinyl. Question one would be, are you looking at uh, yes. uh, uh, pressing? Question number two mm. is, they're taking music from, yeah, they're taking old classics mm. and it's apparently it's called remixing, yep. right? I'm saying it's a remake in essence of what was produced and what was brilliant and it played a very big role in those ages. Yep. Now, if we're going back and taking the same music, are we saying then we can't produce hits as powerful as that? Hence why we're remaking a hit that was released in 2002, 97 or 2008 to re-release it now with your kind of edit uh, flavors. It, yeah, I got an issue with this thing. <laughs> a very big one. But yeah. it's like I'm appreciating the music mm. as it comes out. But my question is based on, are, are, are you also looking into going into finding very brilliant artists and re-releasing remakes and remixes for future? Okay, starting with the... Uh, Pressing. With the, for the first question. Yeah. I mean, there's no artist there. Yeah, and I found out yeah, you know, a deep house, you know, that's yeah. living deep house, you know, that understands the culture. And I found out that I'm going to be on the wax. So most definitely, you know, that's what I'm looking at you know, in the future as well. And I think how I'll go about now, it will be those songs that uh, I've released and that I did good also on the album. That I'll be pressing, you know, yeah, um, that's yeah, the, yeah. that's how that's how I'm gonna press, you know. Yeah. And then now, the second question. It's a heavy <laughs> one, eh? <laughs> Let me just ask it simply. <laughs> Are you looking at doing any remakes from the classics? I I don't like Yazi. I don't even have a remix song. From 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 myself. Oh, from yeah. your own music. From my own music. The yeah. only remixes that I have is other people that. Wants their music to be remixed, yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, but for myself, I don't because I kind of feel like Okuti, it was nice, man. Enjoy it, yeah. Well. Let me just now. This is what I have now, yeah. Well. So I don't remix my songs. Okay. But okay, if other people they want their songs to be remixed, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yes, if there's a vocal, if maybe like gonna okay, fine. I, because that's one thing that if this I'm gonna be doing Emma remixes, I'm only gonna be doing remixes of my songs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, and we know that every song that okay in a call your corner and then I'll do that. And then okay, go it's either it's only me or there's other people that I featured, but I kinda feel like I want to do a remix package. Yeah, I'm yeah. They yeah. like different sounds. So also we have a, because there is a soulful side, yeah, but I find it that side, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's soulful, a corner, but it's not very that thing that can can demand a phone. So, back one of those moments, we go to my, I would like my to have a nice remix, chill track, but gay being a cool, you yeah, know, yeah. because another people, hey, I want they can kill your remix. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you yeah. know, hey, there's an original song here. Yeah, they, yeah, well, they butcher the song. <laughs> 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 you know, you'll see flames, you know. Yeah. So, man, um, but you know, my remixes, man, um, I don't, I, I mean, I have nothing against it, to be honest. 
uh, you find that Kuti Abandu, they remixing all songs, you know, because yeah. they also, like someone said earlier on, uh, they're also putting that flair, you know, because music has changed. Let, you know. l- let me just throw this out okay. there. Black Coffee. Yeah. He came out with a lot of remixes. Yep. But did you see what he did? He crossed genre. Mm. He went all the way to Mpakanga. He went to old jazz. And then he crossed the music into yep. house. People are going back into house hits, mm. classic house hits, yes. and they're pulling them forward. I'm not against the work, but I'm saying, I mean, there's a lot to pull from. If now we're pulling from your house and, and remaking stuff now, I mean, really. You know what I think also? You know, the moment that there is a, a nice remix song, yeah. it can also boost. Yeah, well, that's why you find what the people that are doing bootlegs. Yeah, they yeah. they will put do, do put legs, but you find Okuti, uh, these guys are killing it, you know. I know who Tim, I would Tim at mm. uh, I had him here the, the other day, and he he spoke about Awaka Ma Ma bootlegs. They are brilliant bootlegs, but what I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying is maybe cross genre, yeah, you know. There's there's a whole lot of he catalog a bubble coming true. A catalog of bubble gum inning, and it's never been explored. And it's got very, very nice, nice, nice uh, uh, sounds. It's never been explored. A sculpture has been exploring some of the soul uh, uh, tracks yep. that have been released, and he's done stuff with it, put it out there. You can feel it in the quality of music, cross genre. But yeah, maybe this is just my <laughs> own story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. So the album is dropped. Uh, the album dropped uh, on the twenty fourth of Feb. Yeah. So it's available in every digital stores. Oh, so, and yeah. to be honest, I'm quite happy with the work. Yeah, yeah. I am. I'm high. I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, I can see the numbers. Uh, yeah. uh, compare yeah. to to the first album. Yeah. You know, I mean, I can I can tell already what's happening. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing good, man, and. Um, available on every digital platform there unspoken so tracks to look out for in the album <laughs> every song <could> be. <laughs> <laughs> every song man uh but yo you know um i think i'll i'll, I'll, I'll just say i'll get the songs that actually people are feeling you yeah. know the most or uh, yeah it's uh morning dew yeah uh sweet nothings uh in the end uh, in the end, Guyana, number one. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, you know, when you do a song, you'll be like, yeah, this is the song. This is the track. But and then and the song that you, know, you didn't even think that is going to be the one. The end of it by you. You're the one. Yeah. Um, mm. There's Pillow Fight. Yeah, yeah. There's Pillow Fight. The one that I did with GMT. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Unspoken, of course. No Guayo. Um, the whole album the, for you, eh? Yeah, man. I mean, I think every song, man, has its own emotions. You know? So the whole album is quite nice, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never enjoyed an album like this one, to be honest. Yeah. 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 I've like to be honest. I everywhere I was going, hey, fuck you, USB, my Milan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, the Spotify, lonely, or it's a chill, yeah, well, fuck Spotify. My Milan app. So I mean, also I mean that's how you get yourself out there. You of know? course, of course, of you course. Know, because we always listen to music. Yeah. You know? So if there's Spotify, except that anyways, um, one time. You know? Yeah, come lose phone. <laughs> yeah, what no. is phone? It's a phone long man. Hey, bro, you must call yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my man, it was great chilling with you and yeah, uh, getting a feel for the album. Uh, you actually dropped a bunch of things that I, I, I literally have been wanting to talk about, particularly in mental health amongst the artists. It's something yes. that I find very important. It's not being discussed, particularly amongst the dudes that are still trying to get as far mm. in into the industry. You know, Gunabantu that have been pushing for 10 years and they haven't gotten that big break that they yeah. think, okay, sharp, I'm in the level whereby I can say stuff publicly and be seen as a public figure but they've been putting in the work yeah um yeah thanks for being on the show um Um, it's good to be back thanks for having me once again (laughs) yeah man we look forward to your other work in future yeah um yeah any artists we should be looking out for td groups uh it is it to be honest because uh we we dropping uh we dropping very soon at this month yeah, we would do store just gonna be dropping a, um, a combined EP. Yeah. 
uh, and also Manando is also gonna be coming with the EPI. Yeah, he's been nagging me about it that one. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, no, it's cool, man. And also GMT also is gonna be dropping an EP. Yeah. Um, and also the LP that I'm gonna be working on is gonna be also gonna be dropping on Teddy Grooves. Yeah. Uh, music and friends. Yeah, but Dukes, you were telling me about the GMT also dropping. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be dropping also EPI. Okay, because some guitar, yeah, to see that guy's music, man, it's it's very nice. And also we keep a uh, was it hot it here at this? Is, yeah, yeah, here this. Yeah, where we release some, some yeah. of our <laughs> mixtapes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. So um, I found it about Kuba Payana. Yeah, and what I. As much as it's trying to push it, I kind of feel like well, it's, it's not pushing it really right. Yeah, the yeah. platform is wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. So I was like, dude, you know, just pull through some of the other in the You can drop an EP and then we can try to push. And then also, if there's other guys' labels, and I can try to plug you now as well just to get your music out there. Yeah. So, and then it's going to be him. And then when I was September again, okay, I'll be dropping the last project, which is Music and Friends. Okay, cool beans. Merchandise again? Pardon? Where where do we get the merchandise? Oh, the merchandise. Teddy yeah. Grooves. Yeah, merchandise. Of course, uh, you can inboxes. I will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, inbox. I will. Teddy Grooves. Yeah. Records. Uh, and then go. Okay, okay, we'll take it from there. Yeah, and I thought I think you said the other day you've got e. Oh, winter stock coming out from yeah, there's a jackets. yes, yes. There's a hoodies that uh, I'm getting the month end, yeah. So yeah. just the protege, you know. And then if people you know, on their phone, I can place an order, and then yeah, I'm just trying also to push the mission dies, man. Also on the side, just to get the label out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that uh, there are a lot of things that influences with the label. You yeah, know. yeah. It's not just gonna be just. You're just releasing music yeah and also we just try to create a platform yeah also just to showcase some cool as the artist also like if sense the events we know that uh, our artist is the about slayer we know how to book them yeah. as was also just to you know to showcase the talent yeah because you find that tabanya that just my pillar only laptops are they've never just been out there to play yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so we just gonna also try just to push to that extent as well but we have industry also you know. yeah man uh thank you very much for joining us today i think there's a lot of knowledge and stuff that uh, we, we, we can pick up from you okay. um i'll come again with the long list of questions and uh, we can chill and dive into risa capasso yeah. dive into samro you know and maybe you can school some of the guys that are coming out and that have got releases and releasing on platforms okay. such as the SoundCloud. I know SoundCloud apparently now allows you to put your music on there. And yeah, maybe you can school us on some of those things. Thank you very much for being with us. We'll Thanks, go and man. check out Dux and Cesarel. Unknown? Yes, unknown. Unknown. No, unspoken. Oh, <laughs> now we have no, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a, a, a unspoken. No, unspoken. unspoken. The unspoken. album, it's out on all um, digital, digital platforms. platforms. All right, Buffer, thank you very much. Uh, this is DJ Indusi for Analog Culture Hashtag Power. Woo!